All right, guys, there's my sign. It's been here for a few weeks. And then look, somebody has copied me. <laughs> the same spot. So, but they called me instead of him. So that's good. Well, they might have called him too. I might have been cheaper on them. But this would be my second house in this area. So most of the areas where I have signs, I've been getting more than one call. So what's up guys so day is wednesday and uh just got to my job for the day she uh messaged me a little over a week ago um wanting to get some work done she called me actually and then uh we messaged back and forth a little bit and then uh she um held off for about a week and uh i've reached out to her friday and she said that to check back with her after the weekend so i wasn't gonna bother her monday i was gonna wait till tuesday at lunchtime i had an alarm set to uh give her a mess send her a message and she messaged me about 10 30 in the morning so that she wanted to go ahead and get done um so it's just a simple house wash um the house is pretty good on the most part um on the back side there's a two spots that are pretty dirty um this is painted hardy board and it's not really in the best condition i do see several spots um, where paint is thinning and coming off so i'm gonna take a lot of before pictures but up there it's, it's in the shadow so you can't hardly see it but it's a pretty dirty spot and um on the back on the back side it's pretty dirty but under the eaves you know all that stuff cleaned up pretty good um she also wanted to get gutters cleaned and be my first time cleaning gutters um i cleaned one section for free on a house that was probably the size of this uh if you've seen the metal roof wash i did um i did the front section and it was really just probably like I don't know, four or five feet that has some leaves in it but um there was an older couple and they was paying pretty good price already so i told her that i will look at it while i was up there if it has some leaves or something i would um clean it out since i was already gonna be on the ladder anyways but this is my first paying gutter job um i told her that i would measure it when i got here and go from there if she wanted to add it or not so i measured it it's about 84 feet so i'm a dollar a foot on gutters and i'm not doing two-story gutters so there is one section up there i'll take you back here so you can see <clears throat> um and i mean this is just a personal preference so i'm not a fan of heights so I told her any one story gutter I would do, but two story I don't do. So there's probably 20 feet of gutter up there. So I told her I'm only doing one story and she seemed fine with that. So, um, but we will get started on the gutters and then uh, they moved their furniture and stuff pretty good. Um, I will, don't really know about this pergola too much. I'm going to try not to get much of anything on it and try to rinse it as good as I can. Um, and also the lights. I don't want to uh, grow them or nothing like that. But So we're about to get started on the gutters. Um, so hope that shouldn't take too long. Um, don't really know what they look like yet so we will see hopefully most of them are pretty cleaned out and then uh, I'll just have to uh, check them all so then we'll get started on house wash uh, painting hardy board always scares me compared to uh, white vinyl but uh, I'll do a test spot on the back side and make sure it's good 
before I continue the whole house. And um, I will wet these little bushes down pretty good because she asked about them and I told her that they should not be affected. So I will make sure to wet them real good. And then um, some fog lights on the back that I will cover up with some uh, Walmart bags or shower caps. And then I don't think there's anything on this side. No, so there's nothing on this side that I gotta worry about. So, but as you can see, you know, that's some. I don't think that is something on there. I think that is just the paint. But you can see spots like that. You know, you can see some some spots on that. But you know, just uh, make sure you check this stuff, take pictures of it. Um, like that is that's the paint. So, and then you got paint chipping there. So just make sure you take pictures and note that um, if you want to take a video just walk around and point out stuff kind of like i am i'm doing even though you're not going to you know post a youtube share it with nobody you just have it have it on your phone i mean you can do a quick minute and a half two minute video and uh it shouldn't take up much space nothing like that but uh you, I'm, i always take several before pictures also so um, just make sure you uh, you cover your butt, you know. Um, they seem like nice people. All my customers seem like nice people. But they might not have noticed something until after you came out. Because then they're looking at their house and seeing how clean it is or how much a difference it is or how good of a job you did. And they might notice something. So... And um, if they reach out and say, hey, you know, the, the paint right here is kind of kind of messed up now. Well, you can, you know, respond back in a nice way with pictures that, yes, ma'am, I noticed that. Um, that's what I took before pictures of it. So, but anyways, about to uh, check the gutters out. And then uh, we'll get started on house wash. Guys, I'm on the back side of the house. Front side wasn't bad, the back side does have a good bit of leaves on the gutter. So, um, the front side I just poured up a hand because it was like less than a foot of leaves, but this is like 20 feet. So, I'm going to get the leaf blower and the candy cane and see how that works. So, I'll show you in a minute. All right, guys, all clean. That's what the leaf blowing. 
Okay, okay. Alright guys, so uh, gutter's all cleaned out. Took me, I got here at 9 and it's now 9.55, so 55 minutes to clean all those gutters. I mean, it probably took me um, 45 minutes or so. And also, you know, blew off the patio and the driveway where all the leaves was, so. Um, but like I said, not doing that one customers aware of that uh, but all these three that's around here was bad you know of course because all the trees um, so all of them was completely full They're all cleaned out now I'm gonna leave this ladder right here because whenever I soft wash this I'm going to climb up the ladder about there and spray that way I'm not spraying up through the the Pergola is what these call are called. I, I built one in my backyard, so it's especially a porch that is not really a porch, it's just decorated. But I'm on soft wash from spraying up there, that way I'm not having mess with all that. And then, uh, and that's about it. So, um, definitely recommend you getting a, I call it, I call it the candy cane. Um, it's just a gutter um, leaf blower kit on Amazon for I think $45 so I mean um, you gotta have a leaf blower too of course but if you're doing driveways and lots of like commercial gas stations parking lots and stuff like that you probably need a leaf blower anyways um, just because not your driveway is not going to be you know always clean i mean this one you know it's got a good bit of leaf in the corner but sometimes you might not might just need to break it out crank it up and you know blow off 10 15 square feet of of some debris before you start surface cleaning and uh so it's good to have a leaf blower and uh, if you're gonna have a leaf blower and you're going to be doing gutters then pay 45 dollars and get this gutter kit uh, this this is Husqvarna um, and this is I think Husqvarna brand I'm not sure I believe it was Husqvarna brand uh, I don't see it labeled anywhere but I'm sure it can go on any leaf blower as long as the size right if not you can make it work you can, you can snip this and make it where it um, expands more stick on there you can hold it hold it on there that's what I do I just hold it on there right there and that way 
Let me show you. I hold it right here where it's connected, and that way I can also pivot because whenever you're going through there and you hit one of those, um, I don't know, like rungs in the gutter, you know, it, it turns you sometimes and you gotta kind of reposition yourself so you're blowing right. And so you're gonna have a hand on it anyways. But it's a good investment because you know the front gutters that one was clean that little one's clean and this one just had a little bit right there and it was just on the spout so i cleaned it out and then i grabbed my water hose real quick hooked up because there's a water a, a connection right there and i just put it down there sprayed and that way to make sure that down spout is pretty good um this one doesn't even have a down spout so what's the point of having a gutter and then this one was good and this was even smaller and it has a downspout <laughs> that's crazy but um yes i mean i don't know how long it took me without the leaf blower to get up there on my ladder and you know do higher far i can reach you know i would have to move my ladder probably four times on each side and dig it out by hand so $45 for the gutter kit you know I definitely ordered that whenever I got my leaf blower just because gutters was going to be one of my services and I needed that that would make my life a whole lot easier so but uh about to put all that stuff up um beside my ladder and then uh start breaking out my uh house wash stuff so i'm gonna connect to the faucet over there and then pull my pressure hose all the way around as far as i can and then work my way back around this way um i'm not going to record in that um this house doesn't have any spot that is severely dirty that would make for a good transition video um and if you're watching this video you probably have seen somebody wash a house before so um it's nothing special but uh about to get started all right guys so started washing the back of the house and uh didn't really seem like it's working too well as far as uh cleaning it and um so i hit it twice still nothing and uh, I hit it a third time and it's still not changing much. So I don't know, the sun's real bright, so I don't know if you can see, but I don't have a whole lot of bleach left in my tank. Um, but I'm right by the pressure washer place where I get my bleach from. And uh, so my plan was when I got done today, go by and fill up. Uh, it's been probably three and a half weeks since I filled up but uh that stuff is real dark and doesn't seem to be working so um I don't know if it's going bad or what but uh I'm about to uh drop my hoses and um run down the road and fill up real quick and then come back and try again um let the customer know but um i don't know i'll let y'all know how it goes with the uh, fresh bleach what's up guys so i'll finish up that job so um i wound up um going down to my fresh washing store um luckily i was in the town um that it's in and i was just like six seven minutes away so unhooked all my hoses and um put my ladders in the backyard where nobody could see my stuff and left them there and um drove down to the fresh washing place eco wash and got a fill up on my bleach came back and sprayed the first little section and waited about four or five minutes and it was gone so um i guess um i guess the bleach does go bad um it's not supposed to go bad that quick but uh mine it's probably three and a half weeks old. Well, three, it's been on in my tank for three and a half weeks. And um, it's um, just turned a 
real real dark color looks like sweet tea or something you know and uh i haven't used it i didn't use it um you know since a week and a half so it's been a week and a half since i used it um i did post treat driveways but um that's not something that you're going to notice there whether um it's working or not really so um because I, I, I sprayed that one spot of the house um three different times and uh normally on house washes i only had two where i had to go back over little spots and they've been absolutely filthy and this house wasn't even that dirty um so i knew something was up i didn't know if my uh, downstream was not pulling correctly um i was getting uh bleach out um you know i could see it coming but uh it didn't have the strong of a smell as it normally does and it was not very effective on the um on the green um uh, on the house so um but once i got back hooked all my hoses back up and went to town on the house wash everything came out fine um didn't have any issues um i was worried about the paint because that was a very very dark colored uh painted hardy board and the paint did not look like it was in the best condition um there were several several spots on the house where paint was fading and chipping and everything but everything came out good and uh customer was happy and um i think she even left me a google review so that was awesome so um out of all my google reviews i've gotten um, no, actually she did not leave me a review. She did not. But when I, whenever I got done, um, I had to go by Walmart and pick up some, um, some formula. And, um, uh, while I was in the parking lot, I decided to, uh, send a quick message to all my customers that, uh, I had this past month. Cause I have not gotten a review all month. And last month I got, a review from four out of eight of my customers and this month i had not gotten one yet and i use marquette and i have the added feature where after the um invoice is paid for and whatnot it sends them the receipt and then it also sends them a um a um, link asking for a review so it asks them to leave a review and it has like a little thing with five stars on it and if they click five stars then it takes them to my google to leave an actual five star review and if they click four or less stars then it takes them to a another thing where it's it they can put in um why they wasn't happy with their service i guess and it tells me instead of directing them to my google so that's kind of kind of cool um but the feature seems to not be working too well, honestly. So, uh, it tells me every time that the customer has viewed my uh, request for review, but they never leave one. Um, so what I did last month is I texted all my customers, Hey, so, and so this is Jesse with Cunningham clean. Um, I'm just following up with my previous recent customers, um, asking for some reviews. Uh, if you have a moment, can you leave me a five-star Google review and some kind words and um, attach the link to my Google review? And last month, four out of eight um, did a review right then. And then this month, I texted it to all of my customers and I think three um, so far today in the past two hours since I uh, sent that have left me a review. So they're not really leaving reviews after the job but the next time i reach out and ask for a, a review personally um some are actually leaving reviews so can't complain and some um respond back um i don't have a gmail account or it's, it's asking me to create account or something you know that's fine i understand that not everybody has a, a gmail account but most people do so um i also have a facebook business page and um i also tell customers that they can follow me on there and leave me a review there so i haven't had any uh leave me a review yet besides my buddy on, on my facebook page but um 
I rather get Google reviews than my Facebook reviews um, right now, for real. So, I'm more focused on my Google reviews. And another thing I've noticed, if the customer pays um, with a check, I normally don't get a tip. If they pay cash and they give me cash in person, they might give me a tip. But if they leave me cash somewhere, I'm not going to get a tip. But if they pay with a card, and I have my card um, integrated with uh, Square, integrated with Marquette. So um, if they pay with a card, I just send them the invoice to their phone on Marquette. And from there, they can pay with their card, and it transfers it to my uh, business bank account the next day. And you do have to pay, I think, 2.9%. Um, so basically 3%. And say if it's um, $300 um, job, then $9, $10 um, you have to pay as a fee. So, but um, I'm not sure if that is a, a tax write off or not, credit card fees, but um, I haven't done my taxes yet. Um, so I'm going to be doing my taxes every three months for the first year. Um, and maybe every three months after that, but, um, we'll see. But, um, I mean, it's not bad, you know, spending $9, um, for your customer to use a car is, is convenience. Um, you know, nine times out of 10, any place these days takes cards. So, but back to the card thing. If the customer pays for the card, there is a option on there to leave a tip. Like it's basically asking for a tip in a way. So um, I'll say at least 60 to 70% of the time when the customer pays for the card, they leave me a tip. So most times it's only 10, 20 bucks. Sometimes I've gotten a $40 and one time I got a $50. But most times it's only 10 to 20 bucks, but still that covers your feet. So, um, if they, if they pay with a card on market, then there's an option to leave a tip and that's always good. And another thing, if they're paying with a card, um, when you get done with the job, go sit in your truck and do your before and after pictures real quick. So I got an app on my phone called grid art. Um, it's free Android app and it doesn't have any, uh, watermark and, um, you don't have to pay for it, nothing like that, like you do some of them. So it's real simple. I open it up and I, I click my two pictures and I put them side by side, either top and bottom or left and right. And then I write real quick before and then after on them. And then I save it to my phone. I do that for like at least two or three to five or six good before and after pictures. And then I send them to the customer right then while I'm still sitting there in my truck before I send the invoice. And that way I send them to them and then I automatically send them a text message saying, hey, um, Susan, this is Jesse Cunningham Clean, just letting you know, you know, job's all finished up. Here are some good before and after pictures for you. And uh, you should receive the invoice shortly. Thank you for your business. God bless, blah, blah, whatever you want to say. And then, then I go to Marquette and I send them the invoice. And that way, they will see the before and after pictures and be like, oh, wow, that's such an amazing job. And then that way you're more than likely are going to get a tip and a review when they go through the process of paying and all that and get the review stuff. So that's my thinking. Um, but we'll see how it works um, all down the line. So but, uh, I'm about to get this video together for you guys. And... Um, Get ready for some storms tonight coming in through our area. So, y'all have a good one.